lads, what's going on, Gonfi here, and today I'm going to bring you, as you can probably see from the title, an absolutely ridiculously good hybrid. We've got the likes of the brand new Informed Donk, we've got Informed David Villa, and we've just got a nice variety of players in here. I think you lot are going to enjoy this, especially because I've mixed silvers with golds, with non rays It's just a real, a real variety of good players put in one team, and it's just it's such a good, good, nice team to look at. I paid around about, well, it was definitely over a mil for this team, but it's, it's just a brilliant, nice squad, and it's balanced, and I just think you lot are going to love it. But anyway, as usual, lads, if you're looking for a cheap, fast, reliable coin service that is automated, so as soon as you buy the card, your, as soon as you buy the coins, your card will be bought instantly. Check it, link in the description, FIFA Coin Traders. And also, lads, I'm, you lot are giving me just ridiculous support. I mean, my subs are flying up. Lad, it was just a few weeks ago, I was on like 50, I weren't even on 20k, and now I'm on 37k, something like that. It is absolutely ridiculous, the support. And because you lot are constantly giving something to me, I'm constantly looking to try and give something back. So remember, get involved in those comments below. If you leave me an, an idea, a good idea, a good example for a squad, anything below in the comments, I will look to reward you. I'm constantly looking to reward people. So get involved in them comments and make sure you leave some good suggestions. And just, you know, thumbs up one if you see one that's good enough. Help people out. And if I see one that, that I like a lot, I will reward you. But jumping on into the squad now, anyway, lads. We're going to start off with a bang. It is in form. Julio says, I picked him up for around about 125k. His price is going up from 115 to about 130k, but he's a very, very good keeper. Do see signs of the FIFA 12, Julio says out, when he's just a little bit raving at times. Makes stupid decisions, comes out from corners and just misses the ball. It's, it's kind of weird, I don't know what it is. He, he was like it on FIFA 12 as well, but uh, he's a very, very good keeper. Reflex saves, I, I enjoy using him, and I think he is a solid Premier League keeper. Definitely worth the coins. Uh, centre back, then we're going to be having a very, very solid centre back lineup. We're going to start off with Miranda. Then we're going to have in the middle, it is going to be, let me fuck, Kanu. Everyone knows about this guy, man. The Afro Assassin. And then on the end, we're going to be using Almbeck. So it's a pro league link up. We, we'll start off in the middle with Kanu. For the Brazilian link up, I mean, he's, he's absolutely epic for hybrids, this guy, because he's Brazilian. But at the same time, he's also in the pro league with all those fast centre backs, you know, all those overpowered players. And it just works perfectly. He's a brilliant, brilliant centre back. I mean, 80 pace, 72 defence, 78 heading. He's silver and he's six foot two and black. I mean, this guy's pretty evil. Let's be let's be honest. And then we've got Alan Beck on the end, who only six foot, but he's really, really quick. 83 pace, 74 defending, 72 heading. A another absolutely solid centre back. And I'm not sure how he is. Only worth 3.6k. That that always baffles me. I'm not being racist. <laughs> But if he was black, it's like he would be worth more. I don't get how it works. It, it, he has got some of the best defending silver stats on the game. But he's only 3.6k. And then you look at this guy, Kanu, who sells for like... Actually, he's 3.8, but on the market, you, he's normally around about 6k. And then you've got Donk, who is about just as good as Albeck, but he sells for like 60k or something. And then you've got Coyote, who's also black, who sells for like... 70, 80k, it's ridiculous, I don't understand it, but Almbeck is just as good as those other, other centre-backs, and I can't understand, maybe it's because he's Swedish, why he only sells for 3.6k, he's such a bargain, and then on the end, we have got Miranda, who is an, an absolute tank, everyone knows this, another one who was absolutely brilliant for hybrids, because he's Brazilian, and he's in the La uh, Liga BBVA, which is just great, I mean, it means you can link off, and obviously, he's a very, very good centre-back, Pacey as well, and then, obviously, we're going to spur out now into our CDMs. It's going to be Fabregas there in form, of course. And then it's going to be the brand new in form, Don Cujolo. Obviously, be waiting to hear about. But we'll start off with Fabregas, obviously. 70 pace, 81 shot, 92 passing. A lot of people will be like, you should really play him a little bit further at the pitch. To utilize those just epic stats, 81 shot, 92 passing ridiculous along with his 85 dribbling as well he's just all around a good player not sure where he's got that 71 heading from considering he's only five foot ten but there we go uh very good player he got a uh, very very drowned out for 195k he got drowned out in that cdm position that it wasn't for him i i only really used him there for chemistry and because he's a really like he's a really nice player and the passing and stuff but you you need to play him i wouldn't necessarily say cam but center mid would be perfect for him and then we've got informed donk who is absolutely perfect in the CDM position. He's just an absolute machine slash monster slash if you saw him in a dark alley at night, you'd run because just look at the state of him. He's six foot four, he's black as fuck, and he's just evil. I mean, 75 defending, 80 pace, he's a monster, lads. I picked him up for 345k. I think he will go down. EA, 
Why did you destroy him, though? If you just would have kept him centre-back, we all would have been happy. But CDM, I mean, he gives you more variety. You can play him in loads of different positions. I, I, there's going to be a lot of people, I bet, who just throw him up front just, just for the lols. Just just for a YOLO. But um, CDM, I think he's absolutely perfect. I would have loved him to say centre-back, obviously. But CDM, he works. He's just as good. He's like he's like the David Luiz. And then we've got left mid, brand new inform, David Villa, who... In my opinion, worked perfect left mid. A lot of people would say you have to, you should push him up further, you know, get him involved more. But left mid, he worked absolutely perfect. For some reason, EA yesterday, I don't know if you lot were getting the same problem, disconnected me from about three games. I played about seven or eight games with this team, but for some reason, it only says I, you'll even see a, a couple of goals with David Villa, but it says I didn't score any goals with him, and it says I played five games. It was EA was all over the place yesterday, but obviously five stats, uh, weak foot, which is <laughs> insane. You can bang on any foot and he just feels OP with a two uh with a five star weak foot and then he's got a four star skills as well he's just amazing lads his shot is so good his dribbling's amazing his pace off the mark is so so good he does you wouldn't think he was 80 pace i mean off the mark he is he's like usain bot he's gone but then well actually usain bot's not too good off the mark that was that was that was a fail but off the mark you know what i mean he's really quick but then obviously his sprint speeds gradually get slower and he gets caught but Agility wise and dribbling, he was amazing. I'm not sure if he was worth 200k. He will come down eventually, but a very, very good player. Obviously, then to link up, as you can see with the Netherlands, we have got Robin, who I've spoken about millions of times before. I like to call him the bald headed assassin. He is an absolute beast. Only left down is his two star weak foot, but other than that, he's a monster. We all know that. CAM, then we have got the Guzman in form, of course. Uh, used him really just for chemistry. I really, I could have used, I could have gone a, a different way with this team. I could have gone with a Schneider. I could have gone with a few other players. But I wanted to use the Guzman. He managed to score me an absolute screamer as well. He's a good, good player. In form, of course. 78 pace. Not the best, but for CAM, that's decent. Four star skills. Why is he originally a CDM EA? I don't understand that. His work rate's uh, medium, medium. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot. And he's got 49 defending. Yeah, EA play him cdm i will never understand that they're moving on to our two strikers anyway lads we have got van Persie one side if i just put him on the left because he's left footed and then we have got obviously the monster mayuka i mean i could use the bong i could use loads of those but mayuka is just so op with a five star weak foot that means i've got two five star weak foot players in my team as well which just feels so good but mayuka is just a monster he managed to score me about seven in seven i think obviously ea Seem to just not want to count those games I played yesterday. But you'll see in the goals, he is just an absolute monster. It's agility, it's pace. He scores me one goal where he just skins the whole team. You'll see at the end. And then finesses it from the edge of the box. And it's just so... He's so perfect and easy to play with. He is, he is worth 100k for how good he is. And he's one of the most OP silver strikers on planet Earth. He is ridiculous. And then we got Van Persie who... Maybe not up there as good as Mayuka. But definitely a good player when it comes to strength. And, you know, hold hold up play and getting other people involved. His passing's good, obviously. He's, he's got a, a, one of the best left foot you're ever going to see. And four-star skills, four-star weak foot. You know, he is a very, very good player. His work rates are amazing as well. High, high, high attacking, low defensive. But, obviously, that's 78 pace. EA need to bring out an inform and give him about 80 pace. And then he will be unbelievable. But 32k, I think, is about right for him. But that is the team, lads. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, remember, get involved in them comments. Give me some suggestions on teams, on what you want to see on my channel, etc. And hopefully, if you, if, you know, you come up with a good enough idea, I will get you involved and reward you, of course. But I hope you've enjoyed. I'll leave you with some goals. And I'll speak to you next time, lads. Peace.